Hey and welcome to the shave tank. <clears throat> Today we're going to do a little review shave of a very cool product and this is Sela Crema da Barba Alio Al Olio di Mandorla, if I pronounced that correctly. And at least on the packaging it says it was established in 1899, so quite an old stuff. But uh, works really well and Italians love it. So um, if you're going to barber shops or uh, things like that in Italy, uh, the one thing you will probably find besides Prorazzo soaps is this one. And the second thing is, it's really, really cheap, at least in Italy. I always buy this in Italy. And this package holds, let me see, 150 milliliters, so 5.2 ounces. And this one, for example, costed me 3 euros. But you can get it everywhere almost, yeah, under 5 euros is a, is a given. For 150, that's very cool. Now let's take a look in there. As you can see, it's not quite a cream, but it's a very soft soap. So it's even softer than most of the artisan soaps, um, but it's not really uh, like a cream you would uh, have in a tube or something like that. So it's a very, very soft soap in my book. And the second thing you notice, it says, Al olio di mandorla, which uh, means uh, almond oil. So the first thing you, when you open it, is this almond, uh, very sweet almond smell, which is almost like uh, marzipan or something like that. So very sweet almond smell, quite strong. It's not a weak smelling soap. It's this almond smell is. Quite a strong one. Yeah. Um, so this is the cellar, and let's try this. I already had a nice shower, hot towel, put some pre shave on, and now we are going to load that up into the Omega S Brush Pro. So we'll try that. Um, fitting Italian brush, Italian soap. Let's go with it. wet this brush a little bit and we load it up and of course because it's soft it loads quite easy but the uh, container is quite smaller than some other soaps so for this big brush I actually took this because to demonstrate this, if you have a big brush, then of course loading is not as easy as it would be with a smaller brush. And as soon as you like start loading this, it gets even smellier and smellier in the almond direction. I like the sand, so for me that's okay. But if you're not, if you don't like almond, then or don't like sweet soaps, then this will not be for you. Okay, we have a decent amount loaded, so we go into the mug and put water in there. And like with most soft soaps, uh, the foam explodes quite quickly Water. and for example when compared to Burrazo this does need a little bit more water to shine but 
then it really shines. And here we go. Now we have the real foam explosion. As with most times of the S Brush Pro, I think I overloaded a little bit, but yeah. Very nice. And you get a very nice and slick, creamy foam there. With a great almond smell. So, let's go, let's do this. As you can see, it's a really thick, creamy, foam here, which is awesome. I really like this slickness. And it's very creamy, which is good. And we're going to shave this off with the Razor Rock slab. I have no Italian razor, so Razor Rock doing so many things from Italy. Let's go with the slab. And I really like that razor. You can watch my review on it. It's an awesome shaver. Here we go. See how creamy and slick this soap is. Awesome performance in my book. This soap in my book performance wise Regal soap to very high in price. For three euros you can't go wrong. And I think in the US you can get this at Italian Baba for just a few dollars. Awesome first pass, of course, also awesome razor. Let's repair for the second one. And yes, I forgot to wet my face before putting on the leather again in the first pass. But you can see I didn't even notice because the performance of the soap is so good. And it really feels, still feels soapy. In my face. So for this price, this soap is really awesome. Second pass.
So what are the downsides of this soap? Uh, of course it's not vegan. So for all you guys that like vegan soaps, this is not a vegan soap, at least as I think. Let me see there. Yeah, I put the ingredients in the description of the video. And of course, the smell is not for everyone, I think. It's really sweet. It's not that it smells uh, a lot after you have shaved, but during your shave, uh, you kind of smell like a marzipan sweet. So if you don't like that, this might not be for you. I mean, performance-wise, this soap is awesome. Nothing more to say. Even if you have to do some few strokes after you're done. Oh, and there is no more leather. You're good. Very good. Awesome slickness. Let's see. How we do? Yeah, that's very little cleanup required due to the slab. The slab is really awesome. Just a few spots here and here. Oh, that's nice. That's okay. Let's put here, and here, and we're good. So, just a little cleanup, and we go out. Awesome, that's all I can say. Really awesome performance, really slick shape with the, with the slab. So, aftershave routine starts with cold mountain water. Yes, now it's cold. And it still feels slick in my face. If I do this, still feels a little bit soapy, which is which makes this oil shaving uh, with this soap so cool because the razor really easily glides. 
and I actually do most of my straight racer experiments. I still call them experiments because I'm no pro yet. Uh, with this soap because it's such an awesome, it has such an awesome slickness that not much you can do wrong with this. So, but before we draw our conclusions, we need some aftershave and well, let's go with an Italian a little Pro Raso aftershave balm here to finish this off. And if you see, still see some slight irritation, yeah, that's from uh, my straight razor experiment yesterday. But I'm getting there. So, yeah. So, in conclusion, what can you say? Sella, Crema da Barba, it's an awesome, awesome soap. For this price you can't beat it. And if you like almond and performance wise, this is really one thing to get. If you're on a budget, go with this, you can't go wrong. So that's my conclusion. And remember, if you're gonna shave, shave like a tank. Let's high five! And see you next time.